It was a view that had Seattle in a panic. Okay, maybe not a panic, but it did have thousands of people a bit concerned, thinking they saw steam coming from the top of Mount Rainier, an active volcano that could erupt someday. Towering over the Pacific Northwest, Mount Rainier is more than just a breathtaking landmark. It's a ticking time bomb hiding in plain sight. Beneath its snow-capped peaks lies a powerful force of nature that could unleash chaos on an unimaginable scale. Why does this iconic volcano keep scientists up at night? What secrets do its glaciers and seismic activity reveal about the dangers lurking within? And most importantly, what could happen to the millions of people living in its shadow if Mount Rainier erupts again? Stick around as we dive into the science, the risks, and the urgent preparations surrounding one of America's most dangerous volcanoes. Mount Rainier, part of the Cascade Range, stands at 14,411 feet, making it the highest volcano in the contiguous United States. Though its last eruption occurred approximately 1,000 years ago, it's far from dormant. Mount Rainier is classified as an active stratovolcano, meaning it has the potential to erupt again. It is closely monitored by the United States Geological Survey, USGS, as one of the Decade Volcanoes, a list of volcanoes with the potential for catastrophic eruptions. Unlike Mount St. Helens, which erupted dramatically in 1980, Rainier's risks are more subtle, but equally devastating. Its massive glaciers, steep slopes, and history of powerful eruptions make it uniquely dangerous. Mount Rainier poses a unique set of challenges that make it one of the most closely watched volcanoes in the world. Scientists worry about its potential for catastrophic impacts, driven by a combination of geological, environmental, and human factors. Here are the primary reasons this iconic peak is a major concern for volcanologists and disaster preparedness experts alike Lahars are volcanic mudflows, and Mount Rainier is especially prone to them due to its massive glacier system and steep slopes. What makes lahars particularly dangerous is that they don't require a full-scale eruption to occur. A minor volcanic event, seismic activity, or even a sudden release of water from glacial melting can trigger these destructive flows. Mount Rainier's glaciers contain billions of gallons of water locked in ice. When combined with volcanic ash, rock debris, and pyroclastic material, this water can transform into a rapidly moving cement-like slurry capable of obliterating everything in its path. Historical records indicate that Rainier has produced at least 60 lahars in the past 10,000 years, with some reaching as far as 50 miles from the volcano. One of the most infamous examples is the Osceola mudflow, which occurred around 5,600 years ago. This massive lahar extended over 60 miles, covering what is now Enumclaw, and reaching the Puget Sound lowlands. If a similar event happened today, it would devastate communities across the region, underscoring why lahars are a top concern for scientists. Unlike many remote volcanoes, Mount Rainier is surrounded by densely populated areas. Towns such as Orting, Puyallup, and Sumner sit directly in valleys that are natural pathways for lahars. An estimated 80,000 people live in these high-risk zones, with millions more in nearby urban centers such as Tacoma and Seattle that could be affected by secondary hazards like ashfall and infrastructure damage. The proximity of these populations to Rainier's hazards leaves little room for error in the event of a disaster. Lahars, for instance, can reach populated areas within minutes to hours, depending on their point of origin. This short response window makes early detection and rapid evacuation critical but also exceedingly challenging. Mount Rainier is not just a dormant giant waiting for the next eruption. It's an active geological system. The mountain is part of the Pacific Ring of Fire, where tectonic activity generates earthquakes and volcanic unrest. Seismic activity near Rainier is frequent, with minor earthquakes providing clues about the magma movements beneath its surface. Even without an eruption, earthquakes could destabilize the mountain's slopes or trigger a glacial outburst flood, leading to significant downstream destruction. Additionally, Rainier's steep and heavily eroded slopes make it particularly prone to landslides, which could evolve into lahars even in the absence of volcanic activity. Recent studies have also revealed that Rainier's magma chamber remains active, with periodic increases in gas emissions and thermal activity. While these signs don't necessarily indicate an imminent eruption, they remind scientists that Rainier is far from dormant and could awaken with little warning. Mount Rainier has a long history of eruptions, 
and while it hasn't erupted in modern times, its geological record paints a picture of a volcano capable of explosive activity. The most recent major eruption, which occurred about 1,000 years ago, produced significant ashfall and pyroclastic flows, altering the landscape around the mountain. One of Rainier's defining features is its ability to produce both explosive eruptions and effusive lava flows. Explosive eruptions can generate pyroclastic flows, fast-moving clouds of hot gas and volcanic material that devastate everything in their path. Effusive eruptions, on the other hand, can destabilize glaciers and trigger lahars. The challenge for scientists is predicting not only when Rainier might erupt, but also what type of eruption it will produce. Each scenario carries its own set of hazards, making preparation and mitigation efforts more complex. Climate change is amplifying many of Mount Rainier's inherent risks. Rising temperatures are causing its glaciers to melt at an accelerated rate, increasing the likelihood of glacial outburst floods and lahars, even in the absence of volcanic activity. This warming trend also affects the stability of Rainier's slopes, making landslides and rockfalls more frequent. Additionally, shrinking glaciers may expose new areas of volcanic vents or fumaroles, potentially altering the mountain's geothermal dynamics. These changes add another layer of unpredictability to an already complex system. The communities surrounding Mount Rainier are heavily reliant on infrastructure such as roads, bridges and utilities that could be destroyed in the event of an eruption or lahar. The Port of Tacoma, a major hub for international trade, lies in the path of potential lahars, and its loss would have significant economic repercussions. Ashfall from an eruption could disrupt air travel, agriculture and water supplies, extending Rainier's impact far beyond the immediate vicinity. For example, ash clouds could ground flights across the Pacific Northwest, while ash contamination in reservoirs could create long-term water shortages for nearby cities. Perhaps the most alarming aspect of Mount Rainier's hazards is the limited time available for evacuation in the event of a disaster. Lahars, for example, can reach populated areas like Orting in as little as 30 minutes. While early warning systems, such as the USGS's Lahar Detection Network, can provide some advance notice, the rapid onset of these events leaves little margin for error. Emergency management plans are in place, but they depend on public awareness, efficient communication, and well-rehearsed evacuation procedures. Scientists continue to emphasize the need for ongoing education and preparedness to minimize casualties in the event of a disaster. If Mount Rainier were to erupt, the scale of its devastation would depend on the type, intensity, and duration of the eruption. However, based on its history, geological structure, and proximity to populated areas, the impact could be catastrophic. Here's a breakdown of the likely scenarios and their potential devastation. Mount Rainier's greatest threat lies in its potential to generate lahars, or volcanic mudflows, which are among the most destructive hazards associated with the volcano. These flows can travel at speeds of up to 50 miles per hour, carrying massive volumes of water, ash, and debris. With an immense force capable of leveling buildings, uprooting forests, and burying towns, lahars pose a unique challenge due to their ability to extend over 50 miles from the mountain by following river valleys. A historical example is the Osceola mudflow, which occurred 5,600 years ago, covering more than 200 square miles and leaving an indelible mark on the region. If such an event were to occur today, it could devastate towns like Orting, Sumner, Puyallup, and parts of Tacoma, where tens of thousands of residents live in the potential paths of destruction. Adding to the danger, lahars allow very little time for evacuation, with some flows reaching populated areas in as little as 30 minutes. Without timely warnings and efficient evacuation procedures, the human cost could number in the tens of thousands. Pyroclastic flows represent another severe hazard, consisting of fast-moving clouds of hot gas, volcanic ash, and debris. These flows can reach temperatures of 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit and speeds exceeding 300 miles per hour, unleashing energy comparable to multiple nuclear explosions. While the damage from pyroclastic flows would be concentrated within 10 to 15 miles of the eruption site due to Mount Rainier's terrain, their effects would primarily threaten climbers, researchers, and visitors near the summit. However, these flows also have the potential to trigger secondary lahars by melting glaciers, 
compounding the devastation. Volcanic ashfall is another significant concern, as Mount Rainier's eruptions could send ash columns miles into the atmosphere. In areas within 50 miles of the volcano, such as Tacoma and Seattle, ashfall could be heavy enough to cause respiratory problems, roof collapses, and significant disruption to transportation systems. Depending on wind patterns, ashfall could extend regionally, grounding flights and disrupting agriculture across the Pacific Northwest, with effects potentially reaching eastern Washington, Idaho, and Oregon. The thick layer of ash could lead to power outages, water contamination, and severe health risks, particularly for those with pre-existing respiratory conditions. Although less destructive compared to other hazards, lava flows from Mount Rainier still present localized risks. The viscous lava typical of stratovolcanoes like Rainier usually travels only a few miles from the summit, but it could destroy nearby infrastructure and destabilize glaciers, indirectly triggering lahars. While the direct human impact of lava flows would be relatively limited, their role in initiating secondary hazards makes them a critical factor in the overall risk profile. Another looming danger is the potential for landslides and earthquakes, both of which could occur independently of an eruption. Earthquakes near the volcano could destabilize its steep slopes, triggering massive landslides that may evolve into lahars. Landslides could travel for miles, particularly in the valleys surrounding the mountain, burying roads, bridges, and communities in their path. These events are particularly concerning for the densely populated areas in the river valleys, where infrastructure and human lives are most at risk. The regional and economic impacts of an eruption would also be profound. Lahars, ashfall, and seismic activity could destroy critical infrastructure, such as roads, railways, and bridges, cutting off communities and impeding rescue and recovery efforts. The port of Tacoma, a vital hub for trade, lies in a high-risk lahar zone, and its destruction could ripple across the economy of the Pacific Northwest and beyond. Ash clouds could ground air travel for days, as seen during the 2010 Ijafjala Jokul eruption in Iceland while water contamination from lahars and ashfall could leave millions without safe drinking water. Agriculture in the region would face severe setbacks, with crops destroyed and farmland rendered unusable for years. If Mount Rainier were to erupt with the magnitude of its historical events or comparable to Mount St. Helens Helens in 1980, the destruction would be staggering. Tens of thousands of lives could be lost, particularly in the event of a massive lahar with insufficient evacuation time. Hundreds of thousands could be displaced, and the economic damage could exceed $10 billion, leaving long-term scars on infrastructure, trade, and agriculture. The sheer scale of the potential devastation underscores why Mount Rainier remains one of the most dangerous volcanoes in the United States. Comparison to Mount St. Helens, Mount Street Helens' 1980 eruption is one of the most well-known volcanic events in U.S. history and it provides a stark comparison to Mount Rainier in terms of potential destruction. When Mount St. Helens erupted on May 18, 1980, it released 24 megatons of energy, which is equivalent to the explosion of 1,600 times the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima. The eruption devastated the surrounding region, triggering a massive landslide, pyroclastic flows, and ashfall that spread as far as the eastern U.S. The eruption caused over $1 billion in damages and took 57 lives, as well as displacing thousands of people. While the devastation was immense, it was confined primarily to a radius of about 10 to 15 miles from the eruption site, and the region was relatively sparsely populated at the time. In contrast, Mount Rainier, although dormant in modern history, has the potential to cause far more catastrophic consequences. One of the most significant differences between the two volcanoes is their geological characteristics. Mount Rainier is a much larger and more active stratovolcano, standing at 14,411 feet tall compared to Mount St. Helens 8,363 feet. This greater height means that Rainier is capable of producing far more explosive eruptions and has a more substantial volume of magma and gas beneath it. Additionally, Rainier is heavily glaciated, with over 25 square miles of glaciers covering its peak. This is a critical difference, as the interaction between hot magma and ice during an eruption could lead to the rapid melting of glaciers, triggering large lahars, or volcanic mudflows. Unlike St. Helens, where much of the destruction was related to the explosive eruption itself, 
The threat from Rainier comes not just from the volcano's immediate explosive power, but from the extensive system of glaciers that could rapidly melt and flood surrounding areas with mud, ash, and debris. These lahars can travel for miles, following river valleys, and affect much larger areas, potentially reaching populated cities like Orting, Puyallup, Sumner, and Tacoma, home to tens of thousands of people. In the case of a major lahar, the consequences could be far-reaching, potentially causing widespread destruction over 50 miles or more from the mountain. Another significant factor is the proximity of Mount Rainier to densely populated urban areas. Unlike Mount St. Helens, which erupted in a relatively less populated region, Rainier's location near the Puget Sound region places it in direct threat of impacting major cities like Seattle and Tacoma. With a population of over 4 million people in the surrounding areas, including towns and cities situated in the Lahar Paths, the potential human cost of an eruption is far higher. The region's infrastructure, such as roads, bridges, power lines and ports, would face devastating destruction, further compounding the long-term economic recovery. While Mount St. Helens' eruption was one of the most powerful in U.S. history, its relatively contained effects were limited by its location and the less significant volume of glaciers and magma involved. Mount Rainier, on the other hand, with its vast glaciers, greater elevation, and the surrounding urban population, has the capacity for far more widespread devastation. If Rainier were to erupt with the same magnitude as St. Helens, the sheer volume of materials, lava, ash, pyroclastic flows, and lahars, and the potential for greater loss of life and economic damage would likely dwarf the impact of the 1980 eruption. In a nutshell, while Mount St. Helens remains one of the most significant volcanic events in U.S. history, Mount Rainier represents a far greater threat due to its combination of size, glaciation, proximity to populated areas, and the scale of possible volcanic hazards, including explosive eruptions, ashfall, and particularly lahars. Nature's power is unpredictable, but our ability to respond is within our control. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more on the world's most fascinating and dangerous natural wonders.